That's good, guys. So I did get to learn the MIDI control on VIP software here. Um, all I did, I went to VIP, loaded it in as a plugin, and uh, say I got this keyboard here, and I go to learn, and say I want this knob right here to affect this. Let's try that like that. Get back out of learn mode. Yeah, I'm going to move this one. Yeah, see, it's moving real, real cool. I, I did these this one earlier, so that works real nice. So now to load a VST without, or to you know to load a hybrid or the riser or absinthe without using VIP at all. Let's see. Go to absinthe. When you go to Absent on your computer, it pops all this stuff up okay. there. But on the NPC, the Q links map up to it too. Let's see if we can get a good shot here. Macro controls. Yeah. All right. So it gave us a little bit to mess with here. It's easier to see on the mod wheel. Um, so, if I were to put this as an insert, you know, get your, you can you can change everything. I'm trying to see. What it looks like without this. That's what it would look like without it. Plug in with absinthe. That's how you get. You go to program edit. Gives you it's pretty cool. Um, let's load up one more thing here because I don't mean to use apps in the first place. Me, I the computer slows me down, so I like to go to the NPC and then I tap on here. Go to my plugins. It's got all these here. Look. You can control everything that's in here with these knobs, and they correspond. They they all link up together. You can use that learn function to to use your VIP software or to use your VIP keyboard to map them to different controllers or buttons or knobs or wherever on here. And when you turn them on the VIP, they will turn on on the computer. But when you load them up just into the into the MPC X, and it messes me all the time when I look at this through the phone. Let's load up hybrid. Mm, go on hybrid. Jay's all it. Go to hybrid, and then over here when you open it up. I mean, so many plugins. So, now I'm in hybrid. And you go to program edit on the MPC. And watch these cute Q Link knobs. Bam! Oscillators. All that stuff. Sub oscillators. 
got everything. Everything is right there on the screen. There's no having to learn nothing. You go, you, I don't even know which one of these I'm moving. Here we go, the shape. And it says on here, oscillator shape. You look for oscillator one shape and you turn it and it moves and the sub moves and you just keep going you go down and it just maps out so nice with the uh, the VSTs automatically I don't know if it was the update or what it was but it works really nice the only reason I'm using this is whenever I load up my v, uh, VIP software again I like to go here hit this go straight up to my VIP it loads it and that's good and that's my fault it's my own problem on that one see this one you still have to hit the learn I know you have to hit the learn button on the NPC hardware that you, you were right on that um, but if I want to just stack my sounds like I always do, you know, put one here, and if I had a faster computer, this different plug-in, and I'm just going to do one boom. I'll do one more, but it's easier for me to do it again on the hardware. That's why I love these things. You just hit this multi and go over to your next thing, select it, you hit browse. I'm gonna go to hybrid, up one. Plugins. Oh, I my plugins. Anyway, say I wanna add Emotion Matters. Or big scene. I hit it. Go back to multi. Big scenes right there. And I don't have it hooked up, but it comes right on. And then from here, computer loading. So there you go. It's just nice to be able to control that like that. Thanks again. Appreciate you guys.